name is Dame Teresa Graham. I read English linguistics at uh, Newcastle and graduated 1977. I am the founder and chair of uh, the Women's Giving Circle. And what that does is, is, is we exist to provide bursaries to girls from disadvantaged backgrounds uh, to, to give them a, a, a bit of help um, that they, there's so many students from Newcastle take for granted because of their better family circumstances. I mean, better meaning financially. My name is Jillian Cannon, and uh, I was actually born in Time Out, that's not too far from Newcastle, and lived there uh, until I actually left to go to university. Uh, as a result of my time at university and, and what I was able to do afterwards, I actually now live in the United States and I've been here for 30 years, but I'm still very heavily connected with Newcastle and very eager to get back and visit whenever I can. At Newcastle University, I support the Women's Giving Circle. For me, going to university was a real turning point in my life. I, I grew up in a family where education was highly valued, but nobody had gone on to further education. And, and so we didn't really have any idea what it was like to go to university and what the university experience would be like. So as a first, first generation, first person from the family going to university, everything was really, really new for me. And my father was a single parent, and so he worked in uh, the shipyards on Wall's End. And he really gave up a lot in order to be able to assist me in going to university. So through the Women's Giving Circle, I'm very focused on assisting people with scholarships for uh, getting folks to university who otherwise may either struggle to get there or who may not go at all. And that's really because I feel that it's, it's, it's the opportunity to provide, to provide somebody with the sort of turning point that I experienced in my life to, to really change the, the opportunities that you have in front of you. I am a Dane commander of the British Empire, but in my early teens, my house was actually condemned as unfit for human habitation. We loved it as kids. There was four siblings and me and my mum and dad. Um, but you know, so we subsequently moved to a council house with an indoor toilet and a proper bathroom rather than our scullery. So, you know, I was the first person to go to uni from my family. My father was a very proud man and he wouldn't take subsidies. So everyone in my family, including my sibs, had to sacrifice to buy my uniform, my indoor shoes, my outdoor shoes. So a bit of a, a, bit of a, a, a bursary. Um, of the type that we're giving now through the Women's Giving Circle would have helped enormously. The other thing that is important to me about supporting the Women's Giving Circle is that I think although we've made fabulous progress over the, the last few decades in terms of having women uh, have equal places within a lot of uh, various different job opportunities, there's still more that we can do. And particularly in the scientific area, I think we need to encourage and support women in order to assist them in getting into those, those types of jobs. And, and I want to be very clear that with the Women's Giving Circle, it's not just about financial commitments. Obviously, that's very important in terms of assisting people. But we can also assist people in many other ways through mentorships, through one-off advice that we can provide to folks. And these are things that really helped me as I went through my university career. And I really want to offer those to other folks. So, so that's why I support the Women's Giving Circle. What, what I find most inspiring are the letters that I get from the recipients of bursaries as to what the bursaries mean to them and what they could do with it, what they, you know, what they could do. Lots of students work to make ends meet. So during lockdown, um, we were the lifeline for them when there weren't any jobs. Everyone was, you know, at home or in furlough, and um, and because they were working from their uh, from from their from their digs or from their bedrooms at home, a number of them were able to upgrade their laptops to accommodate the learning online, which was really vital during during the worst of the pandemic. So as part of the Women's Giving Circle, one of the things I find most inspiring is you have a group of women who have benefited from being helped in the past, who now want to help other people. 
And you can feel that when you talk to people, the, the, the passion in the room when we're talking about the things that we can do to support students is immense. And I just find that hugely inspiring because it's everybody want, wanting to offer the talents that they have to provide the sort of support and assistance that they received. And it's a fantastic feeling. If somebody was interested in joining the Women's Giving Circle, the thing that I would most encourage them to think about is it doesn't matter how much or how little you can contribute. I think sometimes we sit there and think, oh, I'm really busy, I don't have a lot of time, or this is just not the right time for me financially. What I would say to anybody who's thinking about it is, whatever little you have to contribute will matter and it will make a huge difference to somebody. So even if you don't feel you have time or, or a lot of financial resources right now, please just get involved with us because I think you'll find what you have to offer will be hugely valued by the folks that we're offering it to. Please support us if you can. And it's not just with money, although we love you to empty your purses and give us uh, lots, lots more. These kids don't have parents with networks, so are always at the back of the queue when there's in for internships, work experience. So we need your networks to help them. And also we need mentors to mentor them. Over the last 12 months, this has been a real boon for these kids. So they tell us, so please support us. Um, you will be very proud of the work uh, that we do. You'll be very proud of the kids that we support and you'll be really inspired by the stories that they'll tell you after the bursaries have been uh, paid out. Thank you.